So Rav Chaim Vital, who was a disciple of the Ari and through whom we have all the writings of the Ari, everything he taught, uh, the Ari didn't write anything. Chaim Vital wrote everything. So it turns out that he sits and weeps, and this is what he's weeping about. That when I was 30 years of age, I was faint and weak because all of the dates, so to speak, have passed already when we should have achieved corrections, and we still have no corrections. The son of David did not come. Why did he not come? Because the people aren't ready. They're not demanding it. There is no coercion in spirituality. There cannot come some upper light and start doing something. There has to be a man that comes first, meaning a lot of work, efforts, deficiencies, revealing of deficiencies, prayers, good deeds, when they want to achieve corrections by themselves, but they can't. And then they understand, we have to ask. And out of these efforts, they understand what to ask. Through prayers, man, and good deeds. So this is what we need to come to. And this is why the son of, of uh, Ishai, the Messiah, has not come. Yes. Why is that cessation from the 16th century till the 20th century? What did those 400 years pass for? Why couldn't it be like 100 years in the 17th century, something to happen, and the correction to happen? Why did we need 400 more years? Baal Shem Tov as the Messiah. When will he come? When will he finally come? The Messiah said, what did he say? Do you know? You don't? Oh man, you're so ignorant. The Messiah said, when your fountains are revealed outside. So this is what we need to do. How can light come and begin to correct the Kelim if the Kelim don't want it? If they don't know what they're living for, if, he, if they don't care what they're living for, as long as they uh, fill up their days from dawn to dusk, we live a hundred years, we, live, we, we fill it up for a hundred years, 200 years, we fill it up for 200 years. In the meantime, we're depleting and ruining Earth, but there's no purpose in our existence. All right, but this has been right, correct for 400 years. Why couldn't we just do like that? So in the 16th century, there were bad things. Why not uh, go the next year? Who are you trying to accuse? I'm not accusing. I'm just saying there's a system that works. Right. So according to the system that works, there's an awakening from above. The Zohar, according to which the Zohar and the wisdom of Kabbalah had to be concealed until the time of the Ari. From the time of the Ari onward, we have to wake up. So the awakening came to us through Baal Shem Tov. He circulated the method of correction, the, the wisdom of Kabbalah. Practically, in a practical manner. And from him, we get this through all kind, through various Kabbalists that lived in those generations since the 16th century until today. The last one was Baal Sulam. Rav Kook and Rabash. Yes. 